right, here we go with another patrol. Another day, another patrol. Let's see what we get going on today. See what I end up picking for our patrol area. I'm glad we don't have to constantly type in a password. It just automatically does it. New day in the office. Okay. So... Let's go ahead and do a open patrol. Let's see what we got. Last time I was here in Sharnwick. Still haven't unlocked any of these down here. Wilcox, Brianna. Got to get those unlocked. I learned something from a YouTube video about where to find drug dealers. I believe he said it was somewhere over here. So um, we're going to check that out right now. See if we can bust some drug dealers hanging out against the building. Yep, morning. Here we go. Okay, we're in our usual CHP uniform because that's the mods that I like using because I volunteer currently with the California Highway Patrol as a senior volunteer and I love it. It's going on a year that I've been there as well as going on, it's been a year this month that I've been volunteering with the Los Angeles County Sheriff Department as a volunteer on patrol. So I also have a sheriff's mod that at some point I'll use, but right now I'm loving this mod with the CHP. Okay, let's see, what vehicle do I take right now? I've been taking this one a lot lately. So uh, let's go ahead and use it. I, I just enjoy using this one, so love I love the CHP mod too, look at that. Look at the dirt on it too. Um, this is our model, safety, service, and security. That is accurate. Okay, so we're going to check our map and see where that drug dealer spot is at that I saw. It's around here somewhere. So we're going to try that. Okay, we'll go out this way see where it takes us okay I don't have a steering wheel and uh, brake and gas pedals to use so I use a mouse and keyboard uh oh okay you ignore the red light so I can't I'm gonna have to put on the um, I'm gonna have to put on hold the other the other thing I was gonna do for now Okay, yep. Yeah. That's the vehicle. Okay. Alright, you, you ran a red light and your tags are expired. Okay. Touch the back of the light to get my fingerprints on it. Take a look inside, make sure they don't have any Ready in the back here. Can you roll down your windows for me, please? Yeah, okay, he already has it down. You know, I stopped you because you ran a red light. I pulled you over because you just drove through a red light. There are literally a million other people committing real crimes. Yeah, you're a bit irate, ain't you? All right, well, you know, you might got something going on, but let's check your ID. Let me see ID. your ID, and if available, this vehicle's insurance, please. Sure, officer. Here you go. Okay, let's go to our computer. All right, his registration's invalid. We already seen that. What kind of tickets? Convicted of aggravated assault. A lot of verbal warnings he's gotten already. So, you know, I'm not going to give him no verbal warning. 
Uh, his picture matches him, the Warren, male, Asian, okay, everything looks like it matches. I'm going There's back. An emergency. Urgent response required. Go ahead and give him a ticket. I have to fine you for running a red light. It will cost you between one hundred and twenty and two hundred and fifty dollars. Really? Yep. Okay. That be is on my so way. much money. Yep. Go on. Get out of here. I got an emergency to go to. Now the red line's telling me to go the other way. What? What's this red light doing? Oh my god, what? What the heck? Oh my god, this line is confused. You all are seeing this for yourselves. I'm look at. I'm not the only one seeing this line change all the time. This uh, GPS direction line. Yeah, well, that vehicle is gonna have to pay later for not using his turn signals. Right now, I'm trying to find a major accident. Oh no, you ignore the red light, look at you and see, we would have crashed. Smoking tailpipes, I would have stopped you. Boy, this is a lengthy uh, drive pretty far away this accident okay it should be right oh here it is okay <laughs> okay so we have somebody injured here we got to go ahead and call an ambulance. I have a person who's been injured, requesting an ambulance. Okay. Uh, let's see if we have any witnesses around here that are standing here. Okay, I don't see any witnesses. So what happened, lady? Tell me what you saw. I'm not sure, officer. Maybe I forgot to use the turn signal. Okay. We'll find out. Go ahead and ask the other lady. We got a two-car collision here. Let me, see. Let me hear you what me? you saw. I did not drive over Come the on. speed limit, officer. Okay, I believe we uh, interviewed all the witnesses already, so now I'm going to take uh, pictures. Let me see. Can you hear me? I'm still in shock, but I'm all right. More shocked than hurt. Can you make it to the ambulance on your own? We need to take a closer look. Okay, Doc. I can manage, I think. All right. Got to make sure we thoroughly got everything. I want to make sure I just get her license plates down in there. Okay. Now, you know what's really, uh, really weird is that when I take photographs, uh, none of this show, the, the injured okay. show up. Okay, let me see what I can Part do. of the accident. Can you they, hear me? All of it this hurts. should be evidence, you know? Okay. But I think I'm fine. All right, okay, I think good. I got everything, can so let's talk to the first driver. Can you walk on your own and come with me to the ambulance to the for further examination? Yes. Uh, I'd like to see I'm your ID up. and car insurance. I'll come with you. 
Here you go, officer. Okay, she has a different hairstyle on, Ryu. All right, let's check our computer. All right, she has no insurance, uh, only a verbal warning for parking in handicap zone. Picture looks pretty accurate, so we'll go ahead and give her back her her license, driver license. Okay, so we got to give her a drug test as well. I'm just collecting a sample to see if you used any drugs while driving. What's up with her keeping those headphones off? Well, I wish I could tell her to take them off so she could hear me. I mean, how is she going to be hearing me clearly with those on? Okay, let's give her an alcohol right. test. I'm just collecting a sample to check if you had any alcohol while driving. Okay, clear. Pretty good. All right, let's go and interview the uh, other driver. Well, wait a minute. Uh, I forgot. We have to uh, cite her for uh, no insurance. That's right. So let's go ahead and cite her for that. She has, uh, well, no, we, we have to. I have to give you a ticket because you don't have valid insurance. My lawyer will take care of it. Being in an accident, you know, so, all right. Show me your ID and car insurance, please. Sure, officer. Here oh. you go. Progress in all in the green. Report is complete. Outstanding. Okay, well, that definitely looks like her picture on this, Miss Fisher. Let's see if the computer says the same thing. Yeah, okay. Picture matches. Miss Fisher, all in the green. Of course, the gun permit. No, let's see. Issue ticket, convicted of domestic violence, convicted in the identity theft. Wow. See, like beating up on people. All right. Definitely going to be checked out. Can't give her a ticket yet for anything. Okay, ma'am, here's your driver's license back and your insurance card. Let's go ahead and check you for any. Drugs. Please allow me to collect a sample to see if you're under the influence of any drugs. Oh, it was driving under the influence of drugs. THC. Uh, okay, it's marijuana. There you go. Uh, okay. Well, we don't have to give her an alcohol test because we already see that uh, she's under the influence. So we're going to have to go ahead and arrest her now. Narcotics, cannabis. I have to arrest you for driving under the influence of cannabis. Please step to the sidewalk. Please don't do that. I want to search her here first before she goes. I have to search you. Kindly cooperate with me. And I'm going to give her her accident report. Well, she only has 75, uh, an ounce, uh, 0.75 ounce and uh, 0.25 ounce. But then if you combine them two, that's one whole ounce. So that's, that's uh, illegal to have uh, one ounce. So 75 and 25 adds to one whole ounce. So that's, that's over the limit. So let's go ahead and give her accident Here's report accident first. Report. That will be very helpful. Thank you, officer. And then now we'll let her. Oh, no, actually, yeah, come back here. Actually, let me escort please you to the vehicle. I'm taking you to the police car. Might as well, you know, just get her in the car now. I'm glad everybody's turning around like they should because we have an accident scene that we're working on here. Get into the car, please. Okay. Now we're going to go deal with the other driver. And then we're going to have to search her car, too, after. We're going to go ahead and give her her Please accident report. Please take your accident report. Such a comprehensive report will be very useful. I thank know you, it officer. will. You're welcome. I do a comprehensive job. Yes, thank you. All right, so let's go ahead and let oh, her go. Yeah, you're free to go. Stay safe and have a great day. No, I don't know if she could. Yeah, it looks like she could still drive that car off. Well, no, it's smoking there quite a bit. So let's go ahead and have a tow truck come and get it. I have a vehicle so here. She's towing. walking. Uh, Can she's you gonna, send a tow truck to my current location? She's going to need to call a tow truck will be at your location shortly. taxi, lift, shift. Well, there's a lot of shift drivers here. So, okay, let's search her, the uh, Resty's vehicle. You might find more drugs or illegal weapons here. Switchblades, guns, nothing there. Let's check the back.
Nothing there. Check the trunk. Put your head all the way in there. Well, your hands are missing. Oh, well, he's part ghost. Nothing there. Wow, pretty clean so far. Amazing. I guess she had everything on her that she's going to have and not keep it in the car. Wow, okay, stilettos. Well, at least you know how to choose your shoes. I guess with all that drug money, you know, she couldn't afford to buy those. Okay, damp raisins. What's up with these people having damp raisins in their car? All right, let's call the tow truck. I have a vehicle here that needs towing. Okay. I need a record at my current location, please. Sure, it'll be okay. with you shortly. Let's get out of here. They want us to take her to Chester, so let's, there's a, the tow truck, which they call Wrecker. So let's uh, mark Chester right here, and let's take her there to that precinct. All right, I, I like putting my cold threes on just to get everybody out of my way. You have the right to remain silent. Any statement you make may be used for or against you. You have the right to a competent and independent counsel for the further of your own choice. If you cannot afford the services of counsel, the government will provide you. You understand these rights. That lady just ran right in front of us. I, that wouldn't have been good. We would have left an accident and finish our reporting on it just to have another one with the pedestrian okay here we go okay here we are all right let's get her inside all righty let's get you in the holding cells there I'm taking you to our precinct cell now. To protect and serve. Yeah, I guess so. It says it right there. Let's don't get stuck, please. Good. I always have to say that because I got stuck twice already. Taking the shoe arrestees through that door of the holding cells. All right. All right, we got her inside. I don't look at that press for details thing anymore. I already know what I did, and if I did something wrong, I also know it. I know it as well, so I don't be looking at that stuff much anymore. Okay, shut our lights off. Uh, I don't know if you all noticed, but we, we have the up-to-date years of 2024 on our tags if I can't oh there you go I was gonna say can I zoom in now see if I zoom in it zooms in too much and there's uh, nope oh well look at me there nice close-up of the vehicle all right close-up of the cage I would never done that in any video this is the first time I've done it so there it is done it or did it however you want to say it all right, now let's, uh, I know we're going to catch somebody. Uh, I look for more of the uh, speeders or people who are running red lights. Oh, un okay, here we go. They're driving suspiciously, so let's go ahead and uh, stop this vehicle. Okay, pull over. There you go, pull over. There you go. Okay. All right, let's get out and check this vehicle. Uh, it has broken windshield as well. Okay. So, it, suspicious uh, driving. Let's tap that, that uh, stoplight so that we get our fingerprints in there. Hello, ma'am. You know that... Ooh, you got a broken windshield pretty bad there. And uh, you're driving suspiciously there. The reason why I pulled you over is because you seem to be having trouble driving. I was trying to find a good radio station. Oh, goodness. That distracted me a bit. Okay. Well, first of all, that windshield cracked and broken up, so we want to definitely give you a citation for that. Um, where is it at? Broken head, broken windshield. I have to find you for driving with a broken windshield. It will cost you $250. Oh, come on. That's so much money. 
Okay, this person looks really sad, so she might be under the influence. Who knows? Let's ask her to step out. Please exit the vehicle and so step to the sidewalk. So we could check her out thoroughly. Okay. I like the way they park sometimes. They park nice and neat and straight. You know, as opposed to all crooked, you know. Okay, jaywalker over there, lady. Come on now, right in front of me? Really? Okay. Let's go ahead and ask her. Registration, please. Yes, officer. There you go. Okay. Ivan Ivanov. Ivanov Tracy. All right, let's check the computer. Yeah, the same picture. Tracy Ivanov, Latino. Tracy Ivanov. That sounds Russian or something. I don't know. Okay, registration is invalid too. I didn't cite her for that. So we're gonna give her another citation. Convicted of credit debt card for the credit card fraud. Convicted of DUI, alcohol, running stop lights, issue ticket, driving, broken tail light. Okay, she's. She's got a record going on here, so she has a gun permit too. So we got to be careful. She might be carrying a gun on her, but if she is, it's legal. She has a permit. All right, let's give her back her ID. Although Latino, that's mm, them blue eyes. I mean, not to say that Latinos don't have blue eyes, but that Ivanov, that's not a Latin last name. I mean, well, it could be a European last name, I guess, because a Latin means from all throughout Europe or the world. When you're talking specific of a nationality or a race, you know, you say Mexican, Cuban, Puerto Rican, you know, all that. Well, when you say Latino or Latin, that, that means you could be Greek, Spaniard. Or, I mean, you could be different, uh, different cultures from different parts of the world. Okay, I'm, yeah, I'm so curious. I, it's like I, I don't know, my, my intuition, my spidey sense is tingling here. So, um, well, let's go ahead and drug test her. I'll just need to take a sample to determine if you're under the influence of any illicit substances. Okay, negative there. Although I should, you know, clarify that she could be Latina, but married with the, somebody with a different last name than her. So, you know, doesn't sound Latin. All right. That's uh, alcohol test you. I'm just taking a sample to see if you've been drinking and driving. And just just to clarify too, it just oh okay, that surprised me. I didn't expect this. Well, if I'm not going to take her in for suspicion of being you know somebody else or a stolen ID or anything like that, I'm going to get her for an alcohol uh, consumption over the limit. Uh, but yeah, just to clarify, I'm not. A ra racial person. I'm not race, uh, trying to, uh, you know, say anything racial here about culture and all that. I am Latino too, or I'm Hispanic, or you know, I have uh, I was born here in the United States, but I have uh, Mexico, Mexican uh, family background, and Portuguese, and French. So, just want to clarify that for any of you that might. Get offended, feel offended, leave any kind of comments. You know, I'm not all about that. I'm very respectful and open to every culture. Uh, and, you know, any, any um, you know, just about any kind of. Anyway, let me stop there. What the hell? Let's just play the game, okay? Here. Um, okay. You're under arrest. DUI. You've committed a DUI. You're being arrested. No, don't. Please, officer. Okay. Let's search you, see if you have Put any your hands alcohol slowly, on you. Please. I'm going knives, to knives or gun, since you have a gun permit. Might be carrying. Switchblade. Okay, whoa, that's another guy. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm escort you. you to the patrol car. Yep, let's get you over to the patrol car. Because we're patrolling. So I got to take you to the patrol car. Please cooperate and get into the car. Watch your head. All right, now we got to go ahead and uh, inspect her car, search it. 
Whoa, whoa, he's way in there, isn't he? Man, so he put his whole body in the leg. There's her handgun, but she's got a permit for it, so that's not a violation. But what's a violation is if she has the bullets in the clip inserted and there's a chamber in, around in the chamber. That's not legal. Well, at least not where I live. I don't know about your country or wh where, what your rules are where you live, but that's the way it is here. And you can't have it in the front seat. You have to have it in the back seat on the floorboard with the clip out of it with no bullet in the chamber or the gun in the in the trunk or the, the uh, gun in the back seat and the clip in the trunk. All right, another switchblade. All right, let's call for the tow truck. I have a vehicle here for towing. Can you send a tow truck to my current location? Negative. Your location Negative. is currently unreached. We'll oh, wow. Okay, sorry for you, lady. Your car's going to sit there for a while. So let's go to Chester again. Okay, it's already marked, so... Go code 3 again, get people out of my way. Oh goodness, didn't have to go very far, did I? Here in my mind, I was thinking, because I'm, I'm thinking of a lot of other things in my head right now. I thought I was going to go far. Time to go to the police precinct cell. Okay, here we go. You notice every precinct has the same name, Brighton Police Department. This should say Chester, Police Department of Brighton County or something like that. Don't get stuck. Okay. Whew. Say hello to your little friend. Hello. I can see his vest under that uniform. You see it bulging out in the back. All right, now being that uh, we're on an open patrol, this thing will go on for like 480 minutes, so that, that's like eight-hour shift. So, you know, I can end it any time I want to, you know. Um, but we got to uh, go check out that area. I got to, I'm going to attempt to avoid going on, on a call uh, because I want to, uh, you know, nice. I want to check out that area on the map where all the drug dealers are from that uh, video I saw on YouTube of them, uh, you know, talking about it. So let's see if I can find it. Uh, so where did we start from? I think, no, we started from here. Let's get back to Sharnwick. Wow, I went, wow, look at how far I went up there. I went to the melting pot area. So, no, actually, we want to go around here. So this is... This is where he had showed it on that video. So go code three on this thing. Get everybody out of my way. I could do this and get away with it because I'm not playing the you know, authentically, you know. Okay, didn't use a turn saying, no, it's okay, because I'm just trying to get to the drug infested area. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? Whoa. 
Whoa, Nelly. Whoa. A lot of people not using their turn signals. Well, like me, huh? Oh, no, 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 oh, goodness. I always stop and... I don't know if they'll deduct points for me for that. Oh, oh, going the wrong way. I'll come back to him. Oh, here it is. Yeah, this is the drug place. Let me shut the sirens off then because I don't want to spook all of the drug dealers. Yep, this is the neighborhood where all the crime and drug dealing is at. Like that guy, look at this guy over there. Looks like they're doing drug dealings over there. Let's see, maybe he's propositioning her. Let's see. Let's just see what's going on here. Why are you two just standing there? Well, not to say you can't, but... Let's see if there's any shady activity going on here. Maybe, you know, they transfer something to each other. All right, nothing major happening there right now, so let's go and find that one location where the drug dealers are at. I really screwed up my my patrol car, didn't I? But that's what that bumper guard is for. But look at how it still ruined my car. Okay, we got to find that place. Oh, look at what? There's another precinct here, or is uh, or is another? Uh, I've never been to this spot before. I don't think. Where's the station at? Oh. Maybe I have, yeah. Well, I, maybe, oh, shit, again, look at that. I'm bumping into everybody. Yep, this is the place right here. This is it. This is it. So we're going to park right here. Get out and um, observe the activity. That's, uh, oh, <laughs> what the heck, that guy's, look at this guy right there. Comedy or a girl. Oh, somebody stole. A wall. Oh, look at that. He, hey, hello. Okay. Let's go get him. I don't know who you stole it from, but there's thieves and drug dealers all around here. Nobody even cares. I'm huh? looking. BVD, stop Don't now! Hello. I have to search you. Kindly cooperate with me. Oh, duh. I should have arrested him first. What the heck? Come on now, Keith. Okay, I got her wallet back. I have to arrest you for trying to escape from a law enforcement officer. No, don't. Please, officer. I, I should have looked up stealing the wallet or something. Okay, right. Oh, what? I can't escort him? Only experienced officers are allowed to escort criminals. What? What do you mean? What an insult. Okay, I'm... what? I'd like to see your ID, please. Here, officer. I wonder if they're punishing me for running away from those accidents or those fender benders. Okay, expired ID. Expired ID, open warrant too. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I could take the cuffs off this guy and arrest him again for having an open warrant. Besides, just fleeing is no major thing. I'm taking so, these handcuffs off. Oh, thank you. Yeah, well, don't thank me too soon because I'm going to rearrest you right now. And I'm going to uh, cite you for something more serious. You have an open warrant. You're being arrested for having an open warrant. Please, don't do that. Please, don't do that. Please. I don't know what's up with Ken escorting. Maybe I'm out of my area. You must be in close proximity. Ah, to your patrol car or precinct. If you're too far away, call arrest, transport. Okay. I need backup to take a subject into custody. 
Understood. The closest available unit will be dispatched to your location. Now, let's see if we can find the person you stole it from. Now, one thing you got to know is if you haven't experienced it already, uh, what? Oh, the victim left. See? Took too long. Well, I couldn't see where they were, you know? Hey there. Yeah, well, what you, you just got to know that if you Please walk away not resist and come with me to the patrol car. from the arrestee, they'll, have to. they can escape or get away. So now that the guy's here already taking them in, thank you, officer. Um, I could get back to checking out all these drug dealers. Look at all these people all around here, that prospective drug dealers. All right, let's get to the area that he showed me before. Or he showed on the... Right here, look at that. It's pretty dark and you can barely see, but as you can see, here's a guy, a person standing right here. The suspect is fleeing. Oh, there you go, see? Look at, see? She's a, she's a drug dealer or something. Police! Stop! Please don't shoot me, officer! She's running for something. What are you running for? First arrest you are for under fleeing. arrest for resisting law enforcement orders. What? Okay. Let's search her. I need to do a search on you to see if you're carrying anything illegal. Chocolate and candy. Okay, so she doesn't have no drugs on her. So what the heck? What is she? What is she run for? She have an open warrant? I need maybe? to see your ID, please. Yes, of course, officer. Here you go. Okay, it still could be her with just dyeing her hair on tar. Invalid insurance, expired ID, no open warrant. Is she ticket convicted? Money laundering. So what did she do? I wonder. What do you think she did? Do you think this is the same person? Or does she have a fake ID? Fake driver license? Hmm. Wait, let me see. What was the nationality? One, okay. Darn it. She f fled, but for what? What did she flee for? I don't know. There's no drugs on her. I searched her and she didn't have nothing on her. What is it that she had on her? Oh, here's another officer coming through. That's the first time I've ever seen that. You know, sir, what's going on? Never seen that. Did he lose his way from taking my prisoner, or is he coming to get her? What's up with that? These are all drug dealers right here. I don't know what she did, so you know, I. Let's go and let her go because I don't cups. know. Thank you, officer. Just fleeing for me, but uh, for what I don't know. She don't have drugs on her. I can't test her for alcohol or nothing. All right. Here you can go. leave now. Have a great day. Have a great day after I arrest her. Put her in cuffs. What about you, lady? Are you hooking or are you prostituting right there? Who's your, your sugar daddy? She's going back to this person again. Oh, see, look, suspects get fleeing. See, because they're all dealing drugs there. But if you don't find anything on them, you can't really do much. Don't move! Okay, she's one that doesn't want to stop. She wants to get away. Hands up! Leave me alone! Well, <laughs> 
you ignored legal orders, official orders. Okay. I have to arrest you for trying to escape from a law enforcement officer. No, don't. Please, officer. No, don't. Please, officer. The way they say it. No, don't. Put your hands up slowly, please. I'm going to search you. After a little bit more of this, I'm going to end it. It's been, I don't want it to drag on too long. All right, we found some. Okay, bag of white powder. All right, and switchblade and all that. <laughs> okay. So now what we're going to do is, uh, you can't cider for any of those things. So what we do is we take the cuffs off and rearrest her for I'm taking off these having handcuffs. drugs Thank you, on officer. her. Not for fleeing. That doesn't hold water very much. Fleeing from what? Oh, well, she was uh, just running from me. Okay, now we arrest her for drugs. Possession of the narcotics. The reason why you're under arrest is because you're carrying drugs on you. Please, officer. And that'll show on the report. Okay, I'm just going to score. Please her. proceed with me to the police car. Yeah, well, we got one arrestee, so after we take her back to the precinct or whichever precinct is close by, uh, looks like it says Nelson Hill. Let's see if I'm able to take her there. Well, I guess the, the, the guy was correct. He said he got it from somebody else on YouTube that posted uh, this area as a high crime area for drug dealers and uh, maybe other stuff. Looks like that's the lady that I let go right there. Or that lady looks the same over there. Look at that. She looks the same too. Look at this officer. He's, I've never seen the... Look at it. Yeah, she has a twin over there. I've never seen an officer just walking around like that. That's the first. When this this guy's like playing in multiplayer, or not, and he joined me, and I don't know. Right. Watch your head. All right, so there he is. Look at my patrol car. My goodness. Okay, so it says uh, Nelson Hill. Let's see if I. I have access to no I don't well I don't know let's see let's see if I can get her there you have the right to remain silent any statement you make may be used for or against you you have the right to a competent the, in no he's the driver of the van what's he doing just walking around maybe he was looking for my arrestee he got away could be that a smoking tailpipe Oh, I hate those smoking tailpipes, tint heavy, dark tinted windows, um, running red lights like this. I don't like it. Let's see if it's even open. That if I could take her here. Well, it's funny because it said it's on, it's locked. Hmm. I didn't know I could do this. I learned something new. All right. Well, actually, uh, let me park the vehicle because I'm not going to go out again. I'm going to end it here. So. There we go. Once I take her into the holding cells, I'm going to end it. Well, I'm taking I'll you to our precinct cell now. All this time, I thought because it said locked, I couldn't take her there. Oh. All right. <laughs> I learned I can take them to places that are locked. All right. Stay here. I like it. It's 8.43 a.m., Thursday, January 5th, 2023, per the game clock and information, not officially in real life time. Uh, today is the, uh, it's probably the 17th now. Yep, the 17th of March, 2023. So that's it.
Let's see if we can end our, our shift here. Alright, not on that desk. Yeah, we could end it here. Alright. Well, there it is. Your shift is over, officer. Yeah, it is. Well, it's nice that I didn't lose any CP points for those little fender benders. All right. There it is, people. Like always, thank you for uh, checking out my video of the uh, police simulator officer on patrol with yours truly, Keith Silva Sr. All right, if you liked the video, and even if you didn't like it, just hit the like anyway, please. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, raise my numbers so it just looks good. <laughs> no, I just hit like and subscribe. Everybody just says it. So, uh, And if there's a bell there, go ahead and smack that bell. And, uh, you'll receive notifications for new content I post on my, my page and my channel, okay? Until then, take care of yourself and others. Peace out, everybody.